Hiya, it's been a busy week. On Tuesday, we signed off an extension and an expansion of our child poverty prevention programme. It's already won praise as an exemplar of best practice. Uh, by the end of this year, it will have helped 5,000 pupils and families directly. Frankly, I would like to live in a world where child poverty didn't exist, but I'm not prepared to wait for government to step up, which is why we are already making a difference to people's lives in the North East. Uh, what else? I've had conversations with the Transport Secretary and the Leveling Up Secretary, making progress on further devolution. I'm always talking to ministers, that's how we got the best funded devolution deal in the country. I met with Recharge, they're the company buying British Velt, uh, an Australian battery manufacturer. Uh, it was a good detailed discussion about the type of jobs, the quality of jobs, establishing the supply chain here, uh, how we train people locally. Uh, the details are confidential just now, but all good news. I was at the Transport for the North Board in Leeds. I uh, called for Trans Pennine Express to be back in public ownership. My fellow mayors are all in agreement on this, and it was agreed by the board that we will lobby the government to do that when their franchise ends in May. Uh, and you might have seen me on the telly on Politics Live telling Cor Tory MP Connor Burns that Boris Johnson doesn't love him anymore. See you soon.